How you doing today? Welcome to another music review. And I'm super excited. Super excited. I'm hyped to do this video. You guys all know what that means. It's metal music again. Yes, metal music again. I love to talk about metal. You know, sometimes I know I need to stray and do other bands. And I know this video is going to get like maybe 30 views. Probably all me. But I don't care. I just don't care. I, I love talking about metal music because these are the bands that got me into music for the most part. Not these bands, but metal music in general. Anyway, let's talk about these two bands. Today we're going to be talking about Shadows Fall and Miss May I. Let, 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 let's, let's talk about Miss May I first. Let's go out of order a little bit. So lead singer is Levi Benton. And they're from, I'm reading off notes, if you want to know what I'm like, I cannot remember. I, I've already recorded two videos. I got another one to go. I cannot remember all these people's names. It's not happening. Not happening at all. But Miss May I, from Levi Benton's the lead singer, uh, Troy, from Troy, Ohio. Uh, a lot of people from Ohio, for some reason, today, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Let me back this up. They're from Troy, Ohio. They were formed in 2006. They are dual vocalists in this band. It's Levi Benton and Ryan Neff. So, wow. Wow. And what I wrote down for this song was super cool heavy beat metal. With, and the word was scratched out because I, I don't remember what I was going to put. I think I was putting some stupid word I didn't want to say um, in a video that wouldn't make sense. So, but this band is basically uh, very deep with their music, like, not deep with their vocals, but like hard-hitting, fast-paced, but kind of a, not guttural, but like they do scream, but kind of with a lighter scream, and they kind of sing at times too. So it kind of fits with Shadows Fall that I put them with, but they're kind of a more of a heavier, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not, no, they're not heavier. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but they're a really good metal band. Um, I don't have much else to say about Miss May I, really, but found them last night, listened to probably about five or six songs, enjoyed them, really liked them. I don't did I hit the follow button? Probably didn't. I probably didn't follow. But I enjoyed them, so if I come across them again or I hear them on um, the thing, Spotify remembers those sometimes. So it's a little like, hey, you listened to this song, and you evidently really liked it because you listened to the whole thing. All right, here's another one. So, if I see it again, I'll, I'll be enjoyed. I didn't really like their newer stuff going out. I listened to their older stuff. I enjoy that better. So, I check out the older stuff. Go check out their newer album that just came out. I'm not a huge fan with that. Um, but their older stuff was pretty good. I enjoyed the older, the last couple albums they put out. Um, which I don't remember. I didn't, I didn't write down the name of the albums. Dude, I, I, there was no point talking about different albums because... Ten years from now, if somebody checks us out and Miss Man is like the next Metallica, like people are like, what are we talking about? Doesn't matter, because probably it's gonna probably make sense at that time as well. In my opinion, it's just only my opinion and whatever. But I mean, they 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 look like they put together the band very very well, and they've worked on their stylings. Dual vocalists is very hard to do, and to do it in a way that it works, which one one singer seems to be more of a screamer, the other singer more of a a singer, and that, one person mostly singer, and one person mostly screamer, but they seem like they both can kind of do, the mix together, and mesh together very, very well, and that's what you have to do very, very well, if you're a dual vocalist band, which is, like I said, there's not very many of them, you know, Linkin Park is one that's succeeded, probably the most successful one that I can think of right now, um, Slipknot does it somewhat, but Corey is mainly, but some of the people do do backup. Uh, I said doo-doo. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, he does do backup sometimes. I think Clown, maybe? Or Mick? Mick? Does he do backup? I can't remember. I thought somebody used to do backup for, for Corey as well on some time. But, you have to do it right. Or it'll sound horrible and this won't be good. And, in order, and to be able to do it and have an album come out and be pretty successful... Kudos, because it's really, really hard to do. Um, so, Miss May I, definitely worth checking out if you like hard rock, if you like 
not extreme metal, but like just kind of the, the metal that is just getting into the mainstream. Um, it's not really mainstream, though. They're not mainstream because I've never heard of them. To be, well, I've heard of them, but I'm not like, like, they show up at concerts and stuff. They do concerts. There you go. How about that? Uh, with people like Whitechapel and things like that. I'm pretty sure they do, they just uh, done stuff with that. So they're kind of in the realm of Whitechapel, that kind of thing. Where Whitechapel's like, they're, they're metal, but... They have other bands that come with them that may only be like maybe like the hard rock level, but could be considered metal. It's kind of like corn. Like corn, some people call them metal, but they were metal back in the day. But now it's just like now they may not be metal anymore. I don't know. Like they're more hard rock. So wherever you think you want to put Miss May I, put them there. I just put them with Shadows Fall because I didn't want to really talk about anybody else that was on the related page for Shadows Fall. So. Yeah, wasn't into that. So, anyways, Miss May High, check them out. Definitely worth your time if you like good music. Hard rock music. A little bit creepy. Anyway, Shadows Fall. Holy crap, do I love this band. I go in and out of wanting to listen to this band, and Shadows Fall is an amazing metal act. I've seen them live, I think, a couple times, because they were at Ausfest two or three times, so I'm pretty sure I've seen them multiple times. Um, and they had an original vocalist, and I heard about this, and this is one of those times, see, some of the times, they'll have a vocalist, they'll drop the vocalist, and people will get mad, because the vocalist left, and another vocalist comes along, maybe he doesn't do it as well, or they don't like their scream, or something like that, in the metal band. Well, this band was kind of like the opposite way, I think, when they came out, I, don't, I think people just weren't intrigued by the original band, because... He probably was just screaming, and that was the problem. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like they, they were probably doing some of the same stuff, but it just didn't capture any attention. Like, they just weren't a fan of his music with the old vocalist. But Brian Fair came in, in and they were formed in 1996. But in 98, Brian Fair came in, and he has been the vocalist. I don't think they've changed vocalists since then, but he is an amazing vocalist. He came from another band. I think it was... Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, he was in another band, and um, that's what happens in metal. Sometimes they just steal the vocalists from other bands, especially if they're not being very success successful. Um, they may just go, okay, well, this is now a side project. I'm going on the Shadows Fall, <laughs> which is kind of horrible, but I mean, you know, if another band calls on you and like, like, okay, here, here's the thing. Like, if Blackstone Cherry called me tomorrow and said, hey, singer's sick, we need a backup singer, but he's going to take time off. He just, he's, he's very stressed out. We just want you to come in and do one album, go on tour this one time. I'd be like, dude, all right, I'm quitting my job. That's what I would do. Because being a part of that band is way better than doing anything I could do at home. And I tell you right now, if I told Walmart, like, if I, <laughs> but you know, that's why I work there. Anyway, I work at the Big Blue store, and I tell them, hey, I, I have to go on tour, I have to quit. But what can I do to come back here when I'm done? Because I'm sure I'm probably not going to stay famous. People are going to forget about me. People are probably going to like the album. And as soon as that guy comes back, they're going to be like, oh, we can really, because he, cause he's back now. Well, hey, if somebody said, hey, you want to be a part of it? Yeah, I want to be a part of it. Yeah, of course. I, and who knows? I, maybe I would, wouldn't go back to the Big Blue store. Anyways, but I want to talk to you about the time. And I've done this so many times, I, this would happen, and it happened with this one as well, and I don't, Danny, Danny, you Danny, Danny was one of my best friends, and then we were kind of have some falling out lately, um, but I would, I would show him bands, and I'm like, here, check these guys out, he was like, Pfft. he basically, he wouldn't do that, but he would just be like, oh yeah, yeah put it in, and he'd be like, not be paying attention at all. Start telling me a story about something else. And I'm like, yeah, he's tuning this out. Like, definitely. Tuning it out. And at that point, I'm just like, do you want to listen to something else? And he would say, yeah, throw this in. So I'm like, he definitely tuned it out. But here's the thing. This is one of those bands that I, I got, I believe it's Of One Blood. I bought this album. And then shortly after that, I think it's either The Art of War, War Within, something like that came out. Boom! It exploded. Shadows Fall exploded. Their buzz kept on getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It just blew up in the metal scene at the time. 
Uh, here's some songs that, to check out. Uh, Light That Blinds, uh, Redemption, Thoughts Without Words, um, Power of I and I. Uh, these are just some of the songs. I didn't even write Power of I and I down, but it's a pretty good song. Um, but some of the songs I... Uh, these are the ones I mainly enjoy. There's a lot of songs that people consider really, really good. Um, nowadays... I'm not sure what's going on. I haven't really listened to that newer album they have out. But I would have to say that they're kind of sliding by right now. And hoping that they're going to be okay. Because I think the last album they put out was in 2014, 2015. So let's hope they come out with a bang this next time. Because I know Lamb of God had a good album come out like a while ago. And they're in that era when I was listening to metal like a lot. And... Seems like Shadows Fall maybe sliding a little bit down. So we'll see where that goes. I hopefully they get better. But dude, what Shadows Fall is is basically they do a lot of they do some screaming, but their music is oh my god, so amazing. I love the music musicianship part, and I know they're not the only ones. There, there's people probably out there that um, people other people consider better than Shadows Fall. But back in that day, this band was doing something that that was not in the mainstream, and I think that's what happened. And now there's more bands that have kind of been shown. And now the internet's here. So the internet has like opened the doors for music completely. Like some people, and it's so hilarious that you would say, have you heard of Korn? And they'll go, no, I've never heard Korn. You have not heard Korn? Like, are you kidding me? And some people you would even say, like, have you heard Disturbed? Or have you heard, uh, I'm trying to think of like a newer band. Like, have you heard like uh, AWOL Nation? And they'll be like, no, I've never heard of them. And I'm just like, where are you at? Like, where are you listening to on the web? Or what kind of music are you into? Because there's so many ways to listen to music nowadays. You can actually miss out on bands just because you're pigeonholed on one band and you get hooked into them. Like, you could be like a century media, like, buff. But you never listen to Shadows Fall. And then you listen to Shadows Fall, and you're like, oh, this band is so great. They must have stole from this band. I'm like, no. Shadows Fall is the one that got the mainstream before they did. But they got popular because of Shadows Fall breaking into the mainstream. That record label was going, hey, let's push these people out to the mainstream and give them a trap, shot. So Shadows Fall, and the guy can sing. He has great vocals as well. Or it puts the, I don't know if he has a great vocal. I think he does. This seems like it meshes with the music a lot, but... Definitely, if you like metal and you like uh, this great uh, background music that would go with, like, progressive metal and stuff like that, this band is one of those. It's kind of like progressive meets, like, like uh, uh, kind of like the mainstream metal thing that used to go on. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to explain Shadows Fall. It's either you like them or you hate them pretty much, I think. I don't, it, and I've said that before, but some bands are that way, like, some people either kind of like it, and that means they hate it, or they, they, they love it, they think it's really good, but to me, Shadows Fall is kind of like one of those bands where I don't like to listen to all the time, but every once in a while, I'll, I'll check them out, see what they're doing, and, because lately they haven't been doing much, um, I mean, they release albums, but they're not, like, anything spectacular or anything. Like, nothing but, like, those, raw, oh, yeah, yeah, raw, you know, which, you know, unlike some other albums, you know, like, Megadeth's put out some really good albums lately, um, and, uh, what, the guy that died, who the heck is that? Let me, Motorhead, there you go, before he passed, he put out that great album with Motorhead, and I listened to it, and I'm like, good God, they're still putting out good records, you know, and, that's the thing, like some bands, you know, they they may have a one-off record that they didn't do so hot, or two albums or so that wasn't too great, but then they come out with that next album, and it's like, boom, punch you right in the face, and show you show you why they're so popular. Um, Shadows Fall kind of, I don't know, they seem like they, they get a single in here and there, but that's about it. I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure what's going on. But if they're talented, they're very talented. If you want to check them out, if you like metal, give them a chance, see if you like them or not, let me know down below. What you think about Shadows Fall? What do you think about their music is kind of like lacking nowadays? Let me know. Let me know. I think some members may have left. I think so. that could have been it too. But I, don't, I think there's only like one. I think I heard like one member I thought left. That could be wrong. I don't know. I've kind of fallen out of that metal scene. So anyways, Shadows Fall, Miss Mayotte. After I burp in the video. 
Uh, definitely both worth your time. Check them out. Let me know what you think about them. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and like, and tell your grandma about my metal review I did. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, keep rocking and keep on listening to metal.